So Swapan Bhaiya is Director at Students Welfare, PCT Group of Institutes, Ludhiana, Punjab. Bhaiya has attended three days workshop by Ganesh sir in 2012 in Chandigarh. And after that, he got connected with UHV in May 2020 in online workshop. And then he started with morning meetings in April 2021. Bhaiya is uh, participating in FAQ team in student workshops. And also he's attending regional weekly meetings for potential resource person. So Bhaiya, we welcome you for sh your sharing. Ji, over uh, to you. Thank you, Didi. Uh, namaste to all. So I'm staying in Ludhiana. I'm born and brought up in Ludhiana. Uh, right now I'm staying with my uh, my mother, who is now 82 year old. Uh, my wife, Prabha, she is teaching in a school here. And my two children, uh, Yashvi, who is in plus two doing medical, preparing for NEET. And then Uday, younger son, who is in plus one and right now preparing for JE. And then one, my elder brother with family is also staying in Ljana. And then there is a younger sister uh, who is with family right now in Australia. But she has just landed uh, yesterday uh, in India. So we are looking forward to meet her after five years. Uh, so this is about uh, my brief introduction. Uh, so now I will uh, share my understanding of exercise one first. Uh, so first step is very important as we all know, but uh, am I able to see always uh, my feelings, my thoughts and expectations separately? I'm still not sure because even I now I even at this point of time, even before we started this uh, uh, sharing, I could see that still there is some anxiety in me and that may be the still the reason that uh, I'm feeling that uh, whether I have to share this to improve me or this anxiety is because of uh, still I am in competition or I have this anxiety that whether I will be able to speak nicely or and then uh, how will it go? So still it is there. So then, but then uh, uh, I can see whether there is comfort in me because the third step I think comes first. If I am comfortable within or I am uncomfortable. So yes, I can see a little bit uncomfort still there. Uh, so in this way, I am responsible. I can see this, that I am responsible for my uh, feeling and uh, happiness. Because it depends on all my son's scars. Uh, like fifth step, I think, is the most important. And I think this fifth step is the step where we all have to work on. And I am also working on that to identify my uh, son's scars, deep-rooted son's scars. Like still, I think uh, the sanskar of uh, being special or uh, I think there the competition uh, and over evaluating uh, sometimes uh, myself and under evaluating the others during the interaction or sometimes under evaluating myself and over evaluating the others. I think still it is there. And uh, so these morning sessions, I think, are helping in identifying that. Every morning, I join this only to improve this. But then how much I have improved, uh, still the journey is on. But uh, I can always compare because uh, uh, earlier times and now, and then uh, what I was and what I am and what I want to be. So... Uh, earlier, this anxiety, this anxiety and all that was uh, quite high. But now I think if I compare, uh, it has reduced a lot. But 100% it has gone. Uh, no, 
I'm I'm sure that it has not gone, but a lot of stability has come. So on the basis of that, I'm confident that the, this journey of uh, self-evaluation and this self-exploration is very nice and interesting. So that gives me the confidence to continue this. And then uh, coming uh, to the next step, which feelings? Uh, of course, that relationship, I think, is the most important. I think I'm able to see it uh, because uh, how I relate to it that I'm able to see it because my participation, I have seen that it has grown uh, grown tremendously at home, at, even at workplace. Uh, participation from the body point of view also, but more importantly, the self point of view. Uh, like I have seen earlier, uh, I got, especially at home, I have shared also during my journey that I got disturbed a lot with my children if they are not following uh, because we were giving the instructions, they're not giving the proposals. But now I think even at home and even at my workplace, uh, I've again started working on this, that I talk in terms of proposals. But then 100% I am again uh, uh, means comfortable in doing that, still work is on. But then when you give the proposals, then the response comes. Then it gives the confidence that, yes, we can talk in terms of proposals as in, in this uh, journey of our self-exploration, we are also getting the proposals from our mentors. And then I work on that those proposals. And if it is bringing the nice results, then I bring it in my life as my values. So that gives me the confidence because I think the best part of this uh, UHV journey of this morning exercise is this, that I'm able to see within uh, that, I, okay, I don't means I even I've now got the confidence. I talked to my family a few days back, my children and my wife also, that, okay, uh, what do you think that my reactions have reduced? So they all three said yes. So uh, although they have not talked about it, but then I have seen that my daughter now is more comfortable talking to me. Uh, so that shows that, okay, and the journey is nice. And then my mother is always, because mothers are always like that. She, um, she always keeps on telling the people that uh, now, earlier it was not there. I have shared earlier also that uh, um, Swapan is doing very nicely and he is taking care of all of us very nicely. Whosoever asks, even without asking, she tells. So that in that way, the evaluation is being done. And that gives me the confidence that, okay, uh, uh, these are the right values. These are the right proposals, which are being... So it, the best part is this, that we can do experiential validation. I think natural acceptance is there. And then answer is yes. And then experiential validation brings the more authenticity yes this is right and uh, uh, and obviously the last step like the coexistence yes uh, harmony still is understandable that okay uh, my the body harmony the self all all there are in harmony and if there is some disturbance it is because of wrong understanding uh, we get into disharmony otherwise every unit is in harmony and the coexistence uh, uh, Although the information is clear that it is because of the space, we are all there and relationship is there and it is being fulfilled. But am I able to see it? Uh, for that, I think a lot of time has to be given as our mentors say. So this was about uh, exercise one. So seventh step, I think, and the sixth step is still the work is on. And uh, now I can... Uh, uh, we can shift to the exercise two, DB. Again, it's a very interesting one because uh, I think uh, the whole life um, we have uh, considered ourselves as body. I think most of the time of our last three, four years when we started this journey, then we came to know that there is a self also and that is the real means at the center stage. Uh, but then it's a deep-rooted sanskar. So still I think uh, I, when I'm aware that uh, there is a body and the self due to the on the basis of activities, but sometimes if I'm not aware, then again, we go to the back uh, to that sanskar that I'm body because 
then we start looking for the sensations and uh, uh, nice feelings from the others uh, whenever we shift to that then i think we go to the body level but then uh, here also i think the journey is on and uh, most of the times i am able to uh, see that uh, 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 didi can we have exercise too i think steps are not there so uh, i am able to uh, see that body is an instrument and uh, uh self is at the center stage because self is the seer doer and enjoyer and uh, the proof of that is this that earlier i think the whole program was about body uh, like getting prepared for the college the more concentration was on the dress and all that and sometimes even if you are uh, if you are st standing in the class or somewhere you want to get a favorable feeling from the others so whatever you were doing in that context that you want to hear a nice sensation of uh, a nice uh, uh, wording from the others so the whole program was on the basis of the sensation from outside favorable and and even within the body also and because it, uh, the self was not even been seen at all so it was all fo focus on the body earlier also i shared that I, to maintain this body Uh, uh because uh, uh, people used to uh, praise the body and all that so that go uh, uh, was the motivation and then to keep this body healthy so that was the reason to keep the body healthy because the people appreciate and then all that but now because when i came to know we came to know that the body is just an instrument for the participation for the right understanding so i think uh, the focus on the body has gone less what is the proof of that because i think the holistic development is happening through these morning sessions so i never came to know that when i started when i stopped uh, even paying attention more to the body by by doing lot of exercise lot of walking and even i used to get lot of stress then i used to run more to get relieved at that, that stress but now i don't even uh, feel the need of uh, doing all that because i see lot of participation at home and at my workplace and the body is an instrument so i don't keep myself uh, means even means i keep always busy myself means even on sunday earlier the assumption was this that i have to sleep the whole day or not whole day but then doing the tv and all that but it is now a a, a means past things means uh now i'm ready even on sunday to participate at home I'm doing a lot of physical work even in the small 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 work i always try to find out some work and i take a lot of interest in that because now the relationship when i think as our mentors always say if you are able to see the relationship the participation will come i think the body has i think a very major role in doing that participation because body is an instrument i will express it and i will do everything with the body but self is at the center stage first of all the feeling of relationship is there then you will not sit idle anywhere and even uh, you will try to make others happy and in harmony that also needs body uh, because you have to express your uh, thoughts and feelings to others and so body is an instrument very important instrument but it is not a tool for my 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 happiness and that because i am the seer i am the doer i am the enjoyer it is getting clear so for that reason uh, for last one year or more than one year i have reduced my weight by 10 kg so so people are worried that um, um, you are losing the weight like that something has happened to you but i think this is the journey of this uh, uh, self exploration uh, i think earlier the body was at the center the self was disturbed but now the self is at the center self is also comfortable and the body is getting leaner by itself i think most of us can relate to it uh, who are through this journey so even i discussed with shamila devi that okay if my body is then she said that if you are maintaining the energy level it's okay so my energy level is always now i don't sit in the office again our mentor said that you can have this sanskar of sitting office comfortably but then i see now as a students welfare although my my responsibility is that only now i'm making it more uh, 
means you can say authentic my position because uh, I received a lot of parents and a lot of uh, students with a lot of uh, opposition and grievances they have. But because of the self-exploration journey, I'm able to now handle any situation uh, where I where I see the other are running away from it or they are not able to see to it because of but because of this all clarity, I'm now able to see that I can handle any situation. And this confidence has come through all this journey. Uh, so this is what I uh, I can say that I can make it clear that self is at the center stage and the body. Uh, but still, I think uh, those sanskar of uh, through sensation, uh, still if some tasty food or sweet comes, still I am attracted towards that. So again, it shows that still that sanskar, that getting happiness from the body is still there. And sometimes even the appreciation, if I'm getting from outside, but although it now it has reduced a lot, means now I can see that most of the times we are uh, stable. And so here also the fifth step, I think the fifth step of both exercises, I think the, the most important and uh, uh, because the working on the sanskars is, I think the sanskars are the main, if your sanskars are not right, they are the main hurdles of your uh, self-development. And this uh, and that's and both the fifth step again say that although the fifth step of exercise two, which is mainly uh, we are looking at the body, but then here also the self uh, comes at the center stage. So I think the main journey is to identify your sanskars and keep on working on that. So it's a very long, uh, it's a very interesting journey, I think, and we are doing it. And again, the seventh step is still obviously the space we all have to see. I think a lot of time has to be given for that. So this is all about my understanding about uh, body and self. Uh, so although I've, I've written a lot of points, but I have not seen the points uh, uh, on the dairy. But I'm just speaking now uh, within that. I mean, again, this confidence has come from this. Whatever I'm doing, I'm just telling that. So And then now the happiness is my innate nature. I, frankly speaking, on um, 21st April 2021, when Ganesha showed this slide, happiness is our innate nature. I could not even uh, relate to it. What is this? And even now I'm clear about it, 100%. I'm not sure because still we keep on shifting, but that shift has reduced a lot. Because again, uh, means the best part is this. I don't want, I, means I, we don't need certificates from outside someone, although I asked my family. But then uh, again, earlier also said that what I was and what I am and what I want to be, I know that what shift has come to me and it is helping me, how it is helping me and it is helping me to be in harmony. And the most important is the harmony around you because that is also very important, whether at your workplace, whether it's, it's anywhere. But still, yes, the program from outside, still it is there, but it has reduced a lot. Means uh, look, complaints have been reduced and then dependence upon the outside uh, uh, for my my happiness has reduced a lot. 100% it has gone. Expectations are still there. And then sometimes these expectations are not fulfilled and sometimes the reaction also come, but that it has reduced a lot. And because now self-development is occurring, so the next step is team development. Uh, in, in PTU, this uh, uh, course is being offered in the first semester. and. And, and right now we have 23 sections this time uh, where this uh, uh, subject is being taught. And this time I've got a team of 20 members. Uh, so that gives me a lot of opportunity. Uh, till last year, it was not there. So, uh, so this is helping me to develop the team because 20 teachers, they have attended the workshop, but then only by attending one workshop will they be, and are they exploring it? So I'm having um, the meetings, weekly meetings with them. And when we went to IIT Kanpur, then um, Gopal Babu showed it's all the college, what he's doing. So I'm just, I've just started doing that. And I think that's an inspiration if I am able to do that. So right now it is very nice that 20 member team is there and then 1400 students to whom we are talking. So when you give them the right proposals, they also means I've seen that uh, from, 
uh, uh, first year UG students to PG uh, second year students is being taught. So they look at it and then they come and say that, okay, this course is very nice because obviously the proposals are nice and talking about their life because most of the time they are talking about the skill, uh, the courses, so they appreciate it. So now I think it gives me a lot of means opportunity that, okay, in my college, the team development can be done. And then obviously the next logical step is the societal development. So I'm committed for that. And so that is it. That's it from my side. Uh, I hope that uh, means I've done, uh, means whatever uh, I could uh, say I have said it. Uh, but then whatever is left, I mean, still I will explore on it and explore. And then we'll keep on doing, doing the sharing because 11th batch is again coming. Uh, so thank you to all the coexistence and all the mentors and means the words are less. I can, I see that we all the whole family, we can understand the feelings more, I think. So that's it from my side. Thank you all. Namaste to everyone. Namaste Swapanji. Uh, namaste Didi. Namaste. It was nice to hear your sharing. I think, uh... You know, from I have been hearing your sharings before also. And like you rightly said, earlier in the sharings, there was a lot more focus on the body. And now I can see the focus more and more on the self. The being part rather than the doing part. And you are obviously able to see the benefits of that and get the inputs even from your family members. That used to be another sore point, I think, for quite some time. Uh, that yes, Lili. Yes. So you were working on yourself. That fulfillment in the family relationships with the children was yet to come. And I think, um, you know, it, it's uh, wonderful how when we grow, you know, when we evolve, things around us seem to be settling down, uh, you know, very naturally and so you it's but natural to have fulfillment in relationships which is what you are sharing i think uh, of course you have put in a lot of effort into this it was a very simple but very honest and sincere sharing i would say and i think quite a bit has been achieved if i look back at your previous sharings and this is very interesting that in the beginning, many of us share that, you know, oh, yes, we, it's easy and we have seen it and it's wonderful and all of that. But as we keep going, the longer we are, uh, you know, exploring, the more we find that there is much more to know. So I think uh, uh, I would really appreciate the work that you are doing on yourself and the work outside that you are doing with the students in all your um, you know, effort for the participation. So all the very best to you. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Nidhi.